Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I uh, was contacted by a company who wanted me to check out one of their products, and uh, here it is. Um, now it came in two actual separate packages when it sent it to me. Um, they sent it to me directly, so I, I don't know, I don't think that's the way it would come if you happen to order it on Amazon. Uh, but I didn't get it. I didn't buy it directly through Amazon. They actually sent it to me uh, from them. Uh, so, but we've got two parts here, and uh, well, let's go ahead and open it up, and then we'll explain a little bit more about it. All right. So here we go. We've got a few pieces here, some paperwork, things like that. As you can see, this is actually a yard sign, and uh, this one, a private property one, uh, was the one I opted for, just because. Uh, and uh, it comes, obviously it comes already. The sign itself is pre-installed. You can see it's not, it's not a bad size. This is, it looks like it's about a six by about 10 roughly. Uh, that it may be slightly different, whatever it is, maybe in uh, uh, centimeters or whatever. Uh, but then you also have the pole obviously already attached there at the bottom, uh, then the other or at the back there excuse me and then these other pieces are supposed to I believe just snap in yeah it has yeah so you just have to line it up the right way and um, they snap in they're fairly tight because obviously you don't want it to fall apart and I had this is me first time opening it so yeah I'm gonna have to tap that together so very tight which is actually good because obviously if you're going to use this, you don't want it coming apart. And this one's pretty tight too. So we'll leave it as it is that way. Um, but very, very snug. Yeah, as you can see, it even kept that one in there. But uh, then it also has uh, a little point here at the bottom. Uh, the point itself is plastic. The little connectors are plastic. These are uh, basically square aluminum. So you don't have to worry about it rusting. It's not steel, um, exposed steel or whatever. Uh, the aluminum usually seems to last a little bit longer in that aspect. Um, so that's not bad. The sign itself is an aluminum. It does have the, I can feel the plastic um, covering. That's up to you if you want to take that off. You know how some different, different things, uh, electronics and stuff usually have that plastic that's over top of them. Uh, I'm sure after a while, especially after being out in the sunlight and stuff like that, the plastic's probably going to want to peel off. Uh, so again, up to you if you want to take it off. I usually do, so I don't have to deal with it later. Uh, now, the other part of it is, uh, well, we'll go into this here. Um, here's the, basically, the, well, there you go. It's the instructions. It shows the sign. It has the two extension pieces. You just push it together, pushing it into the ground. Um, and, uh, you know, there, you've got a sign. Uh, they do have a few different variations of this. I, I think they had like a beware of dog sign and some other stuff. Um, kind of your standard basic needs of, you know, wanting to alert people to, uh, you know, whatever on uh, your property or whatever. Uh, now, the one nice thing about this uh, that kind of makes it stand out uh, besides the fact that, you know, it's pretty simple and lightweight. You're not having to get one of those big giant poles uh, to try and uh, shove in the ground or anything like that. You don't have to dig a hole to bury it uh, or anything. So besides that, uh, it comes with this. And uh, this right here, if you can see this, I don't know how well that's going to come through on the camera because there is kind of a grid looking section here. But this is actually a solar panel. And on the other side, as you can see, are... LEDs and uh, there's a little switch there at the bottom and uh, I had it I think I had it on a minute ago yeah and I may I think I may have actually drained the batteries already so I'm probably gonna have to let it sit out in the Sun because this has been in the box the whole time but uh, the five LEDs right there and you have this oh there we go just took it a second it's oh that's what it is it is solar activated so if we put our hand over it that's what it was i had it facing up when i did this before so if i do this way 
it works a little better because there's not as much light. I can just kind of block it off instead of fully covering it. But there you go. So at night it will come on, but during the day it's not going to shine. So it's not burning it, uh, burning the batteries out as fast. Uh, so that makes it kind of nice. And what it does is this sits over top with, uh, you've got this little clip right here. This thing then sits here. Looks like it slides in just like this. And again, I am, this is the first time that I'm doing anything with this. So if I've done a little bit wrong or if it looks a little wonky, uh, excuse me. But, uh, so there we go. That's, that's essentially what it's going to look like. You've got, uh, a screw package here and, um, I'm not sure it has wall anchors, but it has the big screws there. So the screws go in and then they screw in to the back end back here, the couple of holes there through the piece and it will hold it in place. We've got, uh, of course, the box here and we'll go through a little bit of what the box says here in just a second. But uh, if you take and uh, we'll do the sign as if it's outside and then, oops, if it's dark outside, there you go. You've got a nice lit up sign. And, you know, that's, that's nice because, you know, if you're in a dark area where uh, it's difficult to see, um, you know, you don't have street lights around or whatever, but you want to make sure people are alerted to whatever hazards there may be, be it something like this or just maybe something else. Like I said, it could be a beware of dog sign or whatever else that they have available. Um, that's nice where it's self-lit and you don't have to worry about people not being able to see it um, to alert them to whatever uh, maybe hazard there may be or anything like that. Uh, now on the back of this is just a simple safety uh, information. It does, again, it just tells you, okay, it comes on. Um, it's a solar, it's going to sit there and charge. It shines the light down on the sign so you can see it, etc. Um, it says uh, not to install it basically where it's going to be around a play area uh, because you don't want, you don't want this, um, you don't want this getting damaged. You also, since this is a smaller sign and not one that's going to be high up in the air as well, uh, it, you know, you don't want this to be out there and these edges can be a little bit sharp or something like that. You don't want kids getting hurt or anything, I'm sure is what they're thinking. But, uh, yeah, so we've got the safety information and then just to go over the light itself, uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, well, it, uh, it's of course, simple, simple installation. We're going to be using a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, probably a number two is looks like what size that is. Uh, this is waterproof. So of course, if it rains, you know, you don't have to worry. It's not going to uh, die out on you. Um, it is again, solar. It uh, is night vision or night activated, I should say. So uh, when you lose the light, this light comes on uh, like a lot of security, you know, regular security lights do. And uh, again, like you said, or like I said, and like you can see here, they are LEDs. So the nice thing is, is they pull very little power, um, which extends their life and uh, efficiency and everything like that. Uh, and then from there, I mean, they just say, it, you know, things like it's easy to clean, simple to install. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can actually even, if you want to, because of... The cutout you can install it from the bottom they say two-way installation so it could be angled up um though on the other side of that you're going to have the water sitting here and snow if it has if you have snow or anything like that uh, whereas if it was this way and you're also going to have less sunlight if you install it from the bottom so take that into consideration. Do you want it shining down or do you want it shining up? And then think about which way it is because the other thing is, is the switch and the holes are on the bottom. So uh, I know it says waterproof, but that may be more of a waterproof from coming from the top rather than from the bottom. Um, water could settle, especially if you have freezing climate, um, it could settle maybe around the switch if you had it facing up and 
that could cause uh, damage to it. I mean, honestly, that's that's pretty much it. It's it's a very simple product, and uh, it's great for again alerting to people to any kinds of hazards that you may have. Uh, also. Um, depending on your location, the laws that there are. Uh, I know in my location, if you, um, if you have somebody come onto your property, uh, if you don't have a no trespassing sign, um, they're actually allowed to come onto your property. Uh, uh, now, of course, if they cause damage or anything like that, that's a different story. But you do actually have to have a no trespassing sign. The idea of criminal trespassing, you have to state, you are not allowed here, move along. Uh, if you guys wanna check this out, I'll go ahead and put a link down there in the description uh, to the Amazon site, and you guys can check this out. And again, I mean, obviously this one is saying private property. Um, there are other ones, I do believe there was a beware of dogs type sign. There were some other ones as well. Uh, just to, uh, you know, you've got a handful you can select from and pick what is right for your situation. Uh, of course, while you're down there, uh, checking out that link, there's also the links to my social media and there's that link to PayPal. Uh, and I uh, definitely appreciate it if you help out the channel there. Uh, and don't forget while you're going down there or on your way back up, Hit that thumbs up button for me. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And, you know, there's that bell icon. You click on that and you'll know when new videos come out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, my name's Cougar. This is the World of Me, another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will see you later. Bye.